All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is putting on a brand new carburetor. And uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because I got a buddy that needs a carburetor. And I figured since I replaced pretty much everything on this engine, <laughs> um, I might as well sell them that and save a couple bucks on a new carburetor for this and uh, go ahead and install it. So he makes out and I make out because that's a good carburetor as you saw from all the videos and also did the whole rebuild on it. That's in one of my other videos. You can click on the link and see that. Um, but it's cheaper for him and uh, then I got all new stuff on here. <laughs> so all right without further ado let's get going get the new carburetor on. Okay, and here's the replacement carburetor. It's a Sierra 18-7370N. And as you see, it fits Mer Cruisers 120 2.5 liters and 140 3.0 liters, which is what this is. This is the 143 3 liter. So let's go see what we got in here. If I could open it. All right. Good packing. All right. So, here's the new one. That's pretty nice. And they do sell other models that have the fuel port on the other side here. But as you could tell, mine has it in the front there. So that's why I got this one. Um, yeah. And supposedly these are already preset from the factory. You might just need to do some minor adjustments uh, with your idle and screw and stuff. But other than that, it should be uh, perfect matchup. Um, I do have to take this off. Hopefully that uh, that screws out of there. It should. And they also actually give you uh, and another gasket, which is good. So, all right, let's go ahead and start getting the old one off and get this new one on there and fire her up. All right, let's get this off. And let's go ahead and get this fuel line off. Go ahead and undo our electric choke here. Unplug that and take this off. Drop the parts everywhere so it's easy to find. <laughs> okay. So fuel line and electronic choke are done. Pull our fuel pump air hose here off. And now let's go ahead and we can disconnect here for our throttle. 
Just gotta take that nut off. All right, got that nut off. Take that out of there. And now we just have the four main bolts. So let's go ahead and take them out. And it's gonna be 11 millimeter. All right, now that we got all four bolts off, this can pull right off of here. And we wanna save that for the new one, that gasket. All right, and this is a new gasket on here, so we don't need to use that. I can go ahead and give the other one to my buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our bolt in so we can attach the flame arrestor up on top. And that should just screw right in. All right, so that's in there now. All right, so after looking at this, I guess I don't need to take this out because there's two holes there. And this actually matches back up with the closer hole down here. So we'll go ahead and hook it up that way. And, uh, and if it doesn't work, then we'll go back. We'll take this out and put it in there. But I think, I mean, that, that's even like the perfect size fit like the other one was. Um, so, because these are just a little bit different than, uh, than the one I had on there. But should work. All right, let's get that on. And I'm going to put a washer on each one. All right, that fourth one's going to be tricky because there's not as much room as on the other one. So let's go ahead and tighten down these other ones. All right. So as you can see, that, that fourth bolt there, you can't just go straight down on it because it's covered up. My, the other one, you can go right down on it. I mean, a little bit of an angle, but this one you can't even get to so this one's gonna take a little bit to get on all right so we finally got that one on we're all hooked up here let's go ahead and get the carburetor hose here hooked up and get our gasket on here Let's go ahead and hook our fuel line up here. Okay, got the fuel line on, it's a little tight going in. Let's go ahead and Hook the electronic ignition up, or the choke here, electronic choke. Hopefully I haven't been calling electronic ignition. <laughs> Get on there. Ugh, there we go. Whew, sucker is tight. All right, let's get this on there.
All right, so we have our electronic choke hooked back up, the carburetor tube, our throttle linkage, four main bolts, fuel line. All right, put this flame arrestor back on top. And this one's also a lot higher. I'm probably gonna cut it down. All right, so we got the new carburetor on there. It's all installed. Uh, next thing to do, let's go ahead and fire her up, see how she does. Oh, I got some leaking. I'm going to have to fix that. All right, so I just flip, switched the two. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't fitting too well. Couldn't seal it. I don't know. I don't feel like messing with it right now. So I just put that on there. Let's go ahead and fire her up. All right, so let's try this again. I'm gonna turn the key on. You're gonna watch that open up. That'll show that our choke's working here. Got the water on. I had to bring, uh, well, the fuel mixture screw was out about two and a quarter turns. I brought it back to one and a half. And then I brought this around uh, another, uh, one turn in you can see this is starting to open up so let's go ahead and fire her up all right so you do have to do some adjustments to it it's not just plug and play so, we're going to have to fine tune it a little. That sounds a little bit better, right? She smoothed out. Give it a little gas. All right, we'll cut her off. All right. Let me go shut the water off here. We are on well, it sucks. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna use my old piece. Uh, that way everything fits up nice and snug. This one's definitely a lot smaller. All right, so she's all back together. Brand new carburetor, and my buddy's gonna get a good carburetor. 
Um, so we both made out on the deal. Uh, and now I know everything I have on here is new. Everything's nice and tight. No leaks. Fires right up like nothing. Uh, like I said, just a couple adjustments. Uh, I put this back to one and a half, a little, little past one and a half turns. Just a tiny bit. Uh, it was at like two and a quarter. And then this one back here, I had to adjust. I brought it around clockwise one turn and that actually smoothed it right out as you heard. So everything's all together there. And like I said, that, that second hole actually was a perfect fit for that. The right level and everything to open it right up. And this is probably maybe for the 120s or something different. But you can, I think you could take that out um, if you do need to use that hole. But, all right. So it's all back together. And uh, actually really simple. Um, I mean, other than I did change out my other fitting here. I put my old one on there just because the, the other one, I don't know, I just couldn't get it to seal correctly. So that's the only other hiccup I had there. Um, uh, and the top piece here. I just put my old one back on so it's nice and flush. I could have cut the other one and put it on there, but didn't feel like messing with it. I'll let my buddy do that. <laughs> so it's all back together. And uh, man, this thing is pretty much <laughs> all rebuilt, all new stuff from belts to coil, wires, electronic ignition, coil, spark plugs, fuel pump, starter, you know, oil change. So, all right guys, check out my other videos if you need to learn anything on this and, and how to fix it. And also for the part numbers. I know it's a pain trying to find stuff uh, that'll match up with this. And uh, you do have to do some tweaking with some stuff, which I have in the videos. All right, new carburetor on, new pretty much everything. Cruising with my little guy. Hey, Mage, say hi. hi. And <laughs> hey, let's give it some juice. You want, you want to give it some juice? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get it going a little. say goodbye without saying goodbye to me all right Olaf we'll see you on the next one all right bye Obo bye guys